Well, hello everyone. Hello, howdy. Welcome back to another Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2 tier list. In today's video, we kind of have a little bit of a different tier list. I feel like I haven't seen many people make a tier list like this. In today's video, we're going to be ranking every single upgrade in the entire game. Now, there is a lot of upgrades in this game, so I'm not going to go too in depth with every single upgrade, but we are going to go ahead and rank every single upgrade from S tier all the way to D tier. And yeah, without further ado, we're just going to get right into it. I think most of the upgrades that are going to be in S tier are going to just be kind of necessity upgrades. For example, I think S tier upgrade is going to be the homing upgrade this literally gives your rose longer range aimbot now overall i think rose is an incredibly mediocre class now rose with a homing upgrade versus rose with no homing upgrade is two completely different characters i'm gonna confidently put the homing upgrade in s tier because this is just an absolute necessity for rose the next upgrade we're gonna do is the ammo upgrade another s tier upgrade i would say if your character has an ammo upgrade on 99 percent of the cases you're gonna be putting it on you just get extra ammo in your magazine what what's there not to like this gives your character just more kill power in case you're missing a couple shots whenever you're shooting your entire clip. Ammo upgrade, just easy S tier. I think this is a universal upgrade. I think every single character gets the ammo upgrade besides like chompers. Easy S tier upgrade, you know, just one of my goats. Digestion upgrade. I'm going to put that at a solid B tier, maybe A tier, but we'll leave it at B tier for now. Digestion is a good upgrade, but there is some chompers where I don't run digestion upgrade. A character like armor chomper, I might not run digestion on just because I feel like a character like armor chomper, you're going to want to just be like chomping more because each one of those is dealing like 50 damage solid b tier upgrade because you know it's not one of those universal upgrades that you kind of have to put on you're able to get away without it best upgrade in the entire game easily is going to be the damage upgrade every single character without an exception if you have a damage upgrade you should be putting it on your character without except there's no exception for that every single character in the game actually there's one exception armor chomper i guess you could take it off you don't absolutely need it but besides that one exception and it still is better to run the damage upgrade on that character by the way every single character in the entire game benefits from this upgrade there's not a world that exists where the damage upgrade is not the best upgrade in the game easy s tier easy best upgrade in the game this upgrade right here i forget what it's called but it's for a character like park ranger it makes the little like fart clouds that he leaves last a little bit longer i think i'm gonna put that at c tier just because this is a very niche upgrade this is only on a couple characters same with the fart cloud extender right here where the fart cloud's a little bit bigger i'm also gonna put that at c tier on a character like park ranger this is kind of like a brain dead upgrade like obviously you should be using it but park ranger himself's not that good of a character and these upgrades are just so incredibly niche that i can't really justify putting them higher than c tier maybe they can go b tier we might revisit those at the end but right now we're gonna leave it at c tier our next upgrade is the fire upgrade another s tier upgrade i am hmm, i don't think i can put it above the ammo upgrade i think i can put it above the homing upgrade though just because because every single fire character in the game is kind of better than rose i'm trying to think like barbecue corn is better than any rose in the game i would say i i like fire pee but most people don't i don't really want to get into that right now fire is already such a broken mechanic in this game you hit someone once you get that initial damage as well it just keeps ticking and ticking and ticking so it takes an already broken mechanic and just gives it more damage what's there not to like fire upgrade if you have a character that's a fire character there's no reason to not be using this upgrade you're kind of just stupid if you don't easy s tier upgrade just you have to be using this on a fire character i always mix these two up right here i'm gonna put them both at c tier though you know early levels they're pretty good you have no reason to really not put them on but once you get better upgrades they kind of just like they lose their flair a little bit the only exception to that is chomp thing i think you use this one on chomp thing you use one of these two on chomp thing because of his gimmick but besides that very niche thing and also might i add chomp thing is like the worst chomper in the entire game besides the niche case where chomp thing can actually use these at later levels overall it's just like an early level upgrade you know once you get something better you have no reason to really use these so i'm gonna go ahead and leave them at c tier health upgrade health upgrade i want to say is a tier this is gonna be our first a tier upgrade health upgrade is very good on characters that it benefits but it doesn't benefit every single character for example pylon imp greatly benefits from this upgrade because he already has quite a fast reload upgrade so you don't really need the reload upgrade on pylon imp i usually run damage ammo and health upgrade if i'm not mistaken characters that benefit from the health upgrade benefit a fair decent amount it's a tier that's all i can say it's a solid a tier upgrade this is for like beam cooldowns and such on a character like super brains what's the difference between these two i forget i'm gonna go ahead and put them b tier because they are very 
very good upgrades on characters that they're good for, but they're kind of niche. They're really, I only one I can think of off the top of my head is Super Brains. I guess Citron would be another one, yeah. The thing that's coming to my brain right now is Super Brains. Not really much to say about them, you know, it makes your beam last a little bit longer, and the overheat penalty for using your beam until, like, completion. What do you mean by that? That sounded fucking awful, let's just not say that again. Solid B tier, you know, not really much to say about it. Ice upgrade is going to be A tier. I can't put it S tier just because it is kind of niche, you know, it's only on ice characters. I guess in that case, I'm gonna put homing in A tier as well, because homing's kind of niche, you know, it's only to the roses, and if we're playing by the game where, you know, S tier abilities are, you know, less niche, then I'm just gonna leave it how it is. Homing upgrade, we're gonna move down to A tier, and ice upgrade's also gonna be in A tier. These are extremely, extremely good upgrades, but they're just kind of niche for the characters that they apply to. The only reason the fire upgrade's in S tier is because of how broken a mechanic fire upgrade is already, plus you're giving it more damage. We're gonna leave ice in A tier just because, you know, freezing someone faster is nice. On a character like Arctic Trooper, this ability is disgusting, but on a character like Ice P, you know, it's a little bit worse. Another S tier ability is going to be the meter upgrade ability. There is no reason to not be using this on your legendary characters. If you're not using this on your legendary characters, you are just throwing. This makes it so you get your legendary meter faster on legendary characters. What is there not to like about this upgrade? You simply get your legendary meter faster with this upgrade on. There is no reason to not be using this upgrade. Easy, just brain dead upgrade, slapping it in S tier, let's move on. This is the uh, full metal jacket upgrade, I like to call it. It adds piercing shots, you know, not that good of an upgrade. I want to put it low C tier, maybe even D tier. This upgrade is very, very bad. These two upgrades right here, they're not bad upgrades, but they just get outclassed the more you level up your character. Getting penetration is a late level upgrade, and it's still kind of shite. I'm going to put it in D tier just because I really don't like it. Now that I'm thinking about it, digestion could also go to C tier. Can it actually? It makes chompers. I'm going to leave. I'm just going to leave it. Our next S tier upgrade is going to be the reload upgrade. I want to make it clear that this is not ordered by any means. I mean, I guess S tier is a little bit ordered. Reload upgrade is going to go in S tier. Reload upgrade is another one of those upgrades where it's kind of just like obvious that you kind of have to put it on. It can be substituted in some cases. For example, pylon imp. I don't use a reload upgrade on pylon imp, but you're able to use a reload upgrade on pylon imp. It's not like better or worse. It's just kind of what you would like. I ran reload upgrade instead of health upgrade on pylon imp for years. Reload upgrade is another one of those just very good universal upgrades. There is no complaining about getting a reload upgrade. Just solid S tier upgrade. One of those just it's up there. What the fuck does this upgrade even do again? Does it make the sonar shots on scuba soldier's gun? Does it make the radius larger? If it does that, I'm gonna put it at A tier. I'm gonna put it at the top of B tier. You know, the sonar on scuba soldier is pretty cool, but like spotting icons exist. It's not like the most useful thing in the entire world. And it's also niche to literally one character. So I'm just gonna leave it at solid B tier. Toxic upgrade is just kind of fire upgrade, but worse. So I'm also going to put that at B tier. I am going to put it above the digestion upgrade. However, it does the same thing as the fire upgrade where the toxic just lasts a little bit longer, does a little more damage. I think it just does more damage. Actually, it makes it so your toxic damage just does a little bit more, but toxic damage is just fire damage, but worse. It's crazy. The tier difference between fire damage and toxic damage. I think that it's S tier to B tier. Toxic damage is very okay. Fire damage is fucking stupid. Next, we have the vampiric upgrade for vampire flower. I am going to put it at B tier above the digestion upgrade. This upgrade benefits Vampire Flower a lot. Before you get this upgrade, Vampire Flower is much worse than when you have the upgrade. It makes it so her lifesteal, I, th I think this is how it works. It makes it so her lifesteal is a little bit better, which is something that she desperately needs because she only has 85 health. Health upgrade and Vampiric upgrade are two upgrades that you kind of have to put on Vampire Flower in my opinion. So yeah, I'm going to leave it at B tier. We might reorder as we go, but right now solid B tier. The worst upgrade in the game in my opinion the upgrade that I just hate the most is the zoom upgrade. I in no world would ever want more zoom on my character. I never understood this upgrade because it's just so annoying to use. The only character you might want more zoom on is some cactus or cacti, I guess I should say. But on any other class besides cacti and deadbeard, why would you want to use the zoom upgrade? Half the time when I'm shooting in this game, I'm not even aiming down sights. So yeah, in my opinion, the worst upgrade in the game. I, I despise the zoom upgrade. The last but not least upgrade, the speed upgrade. Speed upgrade? I... 
Hmm. I'm gonna leave it right here. Speed upgrade is good when you unlock it, but again, it kind of gets outclassed with the exception of some slow characters. Iron Citron, you might want to run a speed upgrade on. Armor Chomper, you might want to run a speed upgrade or two on. It's not bad by any means, but it gets outclassed, but it is better than both of the health regen upgrades. I'm trying to think if there's anything I want to change. Just because an upgrade is in B tier, I'm specifically looking at these overheat upgrades. These are upgrades that you should absolutely be using on the characters that you get them, but I can't confidently say that they're in the same tier as something like the damage upgrade, because I'm just thinking of the benefit you get from each upgrade, right? The benefit that you get from each upgrade in S tier is better than every tier below it, but the upgrades below it, some of them are just obvious to use. For example, the fart cloud upgrades. When you get these, you should absolutely be using them, but comparatively, they're just nowhere near an upgrade like the fire upgrade or the super legendary meter upgrade. I just want to give that little bit clarification right before I end today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe all that good stuff. I had a lot of fun making this tier list. You can go ahead and tear me a new one in the comments. You know, that's that's up to everyone watching, I suppose. Probably got some hot takes on here. But yeah, I guess I'll see you next time. Sayonara.